Welcome to Make Web Better. Today, we're going to learn how to connect PayPal with HubSpot. Let's move ahead to how to set up the PayPal gateway. Although we have a PayPal account set up, I want to show this. How can you set up your own PayPal Sandbox account? And how can you set up your PayPal Live account? Earlier, we did it for Stripe, and we will do it for all of the gateways. So let's start with PayPal. So for PayPal, I have the setup available over here, but let's just create from scratch. To watch the tutorial on how to set up Stripe and HubSpot, you can find the link in the description below or click on the info button. So to get started, head over to the PayPal dashboard. Now, I'm assuming you've got a PayPal account already set up. If not, no worries, just click on this and go ahead to log in with Get API Credentials. Make sure you're using your main account for this. No need for sandbox credentials at this stage. So I'm using my own account and logging in. Hang on a sec, let me type in the code. Once you're logged in, you'll notice the option to switch from sandbox to live account. Currently, I'm in the sandbox account, but you can move ahead to apps and credentials. Now, to test payments, you'll need to make test payments using PayPal. You've got to create a sandbox app. So toggle this button. I mean, just leave it as is if it's already in sandbox, because that's what we're focusing on. Create an app right here and give it a name, something like my PayPal sandbox app. Now you'll have to decide if it's going to be a merchant or platform type. Feel free to leave the sample as it is. PayPal will take care of generating that for you. Go ahead and create the app. Let me remove the PayPal from here. All right, once you've done that, like Abracadabra, it automatically hands you the client ID and client secret key. Let me show you. Tada! So this account was just born and you've got your hands on the client ID. Now grab that client ID, copy it from this section and paste it right over here in the test client ID. Oh, and a little tip, save it somewhere super secure, like in a text file. These details are gold in the live environment. Click on show and copy the client secret key as well, just like this. And voila, your test credentials are good to go. So, as it is mentioned that we need to either fill in the live credentials or the test credentials, and based on that, it will be enabled. Now, check out this currency section. Use whatever currency you prefer. It doesn't have to be US related or tied to any specific country. PayPal supports a variety of currencies, so pick one from these sections. You can also play around with different configurations, like the button's appearance, color, and label. Once you've fine-tuned everything, hit that update button. If all goes well, it should cheerfully declare Gateway settings updated successfully. If the key was wrong, it would probably give you an error signal, like keys are not correct. Awesome, we're officially done setting up PayPal in the test environment. But hold on before we dive into the form section to make a payment. Let me walk you through how you can do it for a live application. Right now, I'm in the sandbox, but if I click on this, boom. Now we're in the live environment. Follow the exact same steps as you did earlier. Create an app, put in the keys over here in the section that is the client ID and live secret ID. Quick tip, make sure those keys are securely saved, maybe in an encrypted manner or somewhere safe with you. Live keys are like the VIP pass. Unauthorized transactions can happen in your account if they fall into the wrong hands. So keep them under lock and key, metaphorically speaking. All right, let's backtrack a bit to the sandbox. I've created a sandbox app, and if I click on edit, I'll be able to see the client ID and secret key. And also there is this feature, this email and password that have been generated so that you can see the transactions. So the PayPal setup is good to go. Now, let's create a form that uses PayPal to process payments. I'll stick with the same form. Yes, and right here, I'll select PayPal and remove Stripe. Upon updating the form, it's generated. and it's in test mode. If I switch off test mode, there you go. Only Stripe is visible because I haven't selected PayPal. So I think this is very good functionality wherein you can just test with your keys without having to fill in the live credentials in those. Now let's circle back to the share link. Opening it here, now we can make the payment. 
and we have three options, PayPal, PayPal Credit, and more. Users with a PayPal account can use it directly, or if they have a credit card, they can choose Visa or another option to check out without a PayPal account. They even have the option to disable this and continue as a test before hitting pay. All right, let's go ahead and make a payment through PayPal for now. Remember, this is in sandbox mode. When testing in sandbox mode, it should take you to the sandbox PayPal account. Here, use the sandbox account created earlier, not the one used for client ID and secret. Create another sandbox account and use the ID and password. Now, once I log in, this is my sandbox account and I can pay any amount through it. The details show up here like this and I can complete the purchase. Easy peasy. Now the payment has been successful. So to confirm this, like what credentials you can use for Sandbox, you have to build an app, different app, not this one, the one that you have using to take the payment. Otherwise, it will show that you are paying from the same account that was used to create the collect the payment. You have to create a different account and you have to use this ID and this ID to take the payment. Now, let's circle back to the dashboard. If I navigate to the transaction section, it'll showcase our brand new transaction. Clicking on the contact, you can see it beautifully integrated into HubSpot. Oh, and don't mind that PayPal email. I've set up some workflows for testing so you can safely ignore it. The action we just created is here, complete with all the PayPal related information. It's neatly added to both the general transaction section and the properties. And to see this transaction happen in PayPal, head over to sandbox.paypal.com. I'll do it in incognito mode since I'm using another Sandbox account as well, like this. Now, if I click on login and put the password here and hit login, perfect. This is the account through which I'm collecting the payments. So if we navigate to the view transaction section, you'll spot the transaction we just completed at 2.58 AM. The total amount processed was 997 USD, prominently displayed here. For more details, you can explore the activity section in all transactions. Yep, there it is, 997 USD, the amount I paid from this account, along with the fee collected by PayPal, resulting in the total amount. All right, that's a wrap on how payments work through PayPal. In FormPay, you can seamlessly utilize the same process to collect payments, be it for donations or other settings. And remember, all the other settings, styles, and whatnot work seamlessly with PayPal as well. So that's the lowdown on how to collect payments using PayPal and set up gateways in FormPay. Thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions or need further clarification about any part of this video. Also, remember to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'll catch you in the next video.